Hi, this is David with Expressions Cold Press. I want to talk about thin film pressing today. Uh, thin film pressing is basically where we're, we want to utilize the whole entire press plate to press the juice instead of having it like bind up at the bottom. Um, one of the things about that is like a, if your press generates, let's say 60 pounds per square inch, um, if you're utilizing the whole entire press plate, that's true. If you're only utilizing half the press plate, well basically what we end up having is half the area double the pressure, which gets it, we end up locking a lot of the juice inside of the produce itself. Um, so what we wanna do is get the, um, find the way, put the right amount of produce in the bag so that it rises all the way to the top of the press plates and we get a nice thin film all the way across, even pressing across the whole entire um, um, produce so you get the most ma um, juice out of, the, out of the bag as possible and in the shortest amount of time and the combination of the two means it's profitability. Um, okay, uh, so basically what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna shred off camera, um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, like I said, about two thirds, that happens to be just about the top of the press rail here, um, of, um, full of produce to there. Then we're gonna shut the um, platen as fast as we can, and watch the produce or pomace rise to the top of that seam. As soon as it gets to the top of that seam, we put it in neutral. Uh, there'll be like a sheen of um, liquid on top of the produce. Well, as soon as that drains off, it'll be just a few seconds. Um, we could go on to full press, because what that's gonna do is allow the, uh, once we re reduce some of the liquid volume in the produce, it reduces its viscosity and it doesn't want to rise anymore. The fibers will actually lock together. Uh, you can go on to full press, watch it drain, and then what we'll do is after it's, um, we just get like a few drips and it's not really giving us a whole bunch of juice anymore, we'll back it up just a little bit. That'll allow the juice from the inside of the produce to wick out to the outside again, and then back onto full press and we'll get the rest of that juice out of it. And you might do that once or twice. Uh, I wouldn't spend a whole bunch of time on it because the value in time starts to exceed the value of the, pro of the juice that you're actually getting out of the produce. Um, anyway, uh, with that said, let's shred up some produce and we'll just uh, run through a couple samples of it without talking. All right, thank you.